Hey guys! So first off, those who joined me for my this time much more successful live stream, thank you so much. You guys are so great. You really are. You're just the best. All right. So we opened the Keurig that I had found in the bins this weekend, and I was thrilled, yes, thrilled to find that it is not, in fact, brand new. And um, I know people think I'm weird and stuff that I was actually totally okay with it not being brand new. But if you if you understand our, our kind of mission and our message that we're trying to spread and the influence that we're trying to, the way we're trying to influence people is um, we want you to think about what you're selling, buying. Um, we want you to think about especially what you're throwing away. And when I find brand new things in the bin, yes, there is an adrenaline rush there. Yes, it is money in my pocket for my family to do extra things. And that's awesome. But it also means that people threw away brand new, perfectly good stuff. And that is incredibly depressing. And honestly, sometimes it really gets me down. And I've had to take breaks over the years from dumpster diving because of how much it brings me down sometimes. Like, yeah, it's it's really hard to see what people throw away, knowing how much suffering there is in the world, you know, and people that do without and do with so little and are starving, you know, finding perfectly good food, like this bread that we've been eating that is out of the bins. Yeah, the, the kids love it. Yeah, they, they're saying it's delicious, isn't it? It's delicious. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. Anyway, so it it really can be very disheartening. So there's word to the wise, if you do start dumpster diving, it will open your eyes to a side of humanity and just, you know, society and the people around you and your neighbors and friends. It will, not just businesses, not just stores, but your public schools even and at churches and parks. Hold on, baby. Um, It'll really open your eyes and 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 it can be painful. It can be emotionally very painful. All right, with all that out of the way, let's plug this thing in. We have these um Swissmas. Let's try let's try to not make any more screechy noises. We have these Swissmas cocoa K cups. They are specifically Keurig. I got them for free from one of the um Friday freebies from Kroger. If you guys are not already Kroger members and getting the Friday freebies, you need to do that. They do something different every Friday. It's super awesome. You have like two weeks to use the um, digital download once you've downloaded it. Hold on, baby. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but you do have to download it the Friday that they offer it. So anyway, that's this. Olivia got us some water. We're going to plug this in. We're going to see if it works. Now, if it doesn't work, don't be disappointed, you guys. Don't feel bad for me. Don't. Please. Okay? Because if it doesn't work, that means there was a really good reason for throwing it away. That it wasn't just wasted. Right? I mean, yeah, maybe it could be repaired. I don't know if you can repair those kind of things. Maybe it, the parts could have been reused elsewhere. Sure. But at least we would know that it wasn't just totally wasted. Okay? So I'm okay with finding things that really are broken or really are yucky or, you know, really are meant to be in the garbage. I am okay with that because I'm not out there just for the adrenaline rush, just for the money, just for the prize. <laughs> I want the bigger prize. I want to change people's minds. I want to influence people's behaviors. So if it doesn't work, please don't be upset, okay? Because it's okay. And because there will be so much more, okay? There will be, oh, if you weren't with me last spring and summer, or if you haven't watched any of last spring and summer's videos, do. They're in like the humongous playlist that I really need to break into pieces called In the Dumpsters. It's it's down there. Just look. That's all out of the dumpsters, guys. The violin, it's out of the dumpsters. The brand new shoes, the money, all that stuff, it's straight out of the dumpsters. And if you stick with me this spring and summer, you will see there will be so much more. So if this one item 
really is dead, it's okay, okay? There will be more. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in now. Okay, so I am gonna guess that it's a return just based on the fact that the cord is still wrapped up, but maybe they did that when they were boxing it up. I don't know. I mean, you can, you can see just looking at it, I mean, it's a little dirty. It's been used, right? It has definitely been used. We need to just plug the sucker in is what we need to do. Okay, so there's a little like computer screen. Oh, geez, okay. <laughs> It's, it's on. Sorry, there is a problem. Water under pressure. Slowly open handle to reset. Remove the pod and lower the handle. Perform needle maintenance if the problem persists. Okay, so there is something wrong, but we're going to troubleshoot it and we're going to see if we can figure it out. Okay, so here is what we have figured out by uh, looking online at the instructional thingy, there is a piece that should go right here that is the carafe where the water goes, is what I'm thinking. I'm not, honestly, I'm not terribly familiar with the whole Keurig system, even the brand, I'm really not terribly familiar, other than we use it like at the dentist's office. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure... There's supposed to be, okay, hold on, honey. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a piece that goes here. Some of you that are way more familiar with Keurig, I'm sure will know. But other than that, um, it looks like it, everything is fine. It, it just says water under pressure, slowly open handle. I don't know why it would say that the water is under pressure. There's no water, right? Like there's, there's no. What does under pressure mean? Uh, that there's pressure being applied to it. Yeah, I don't know. But that's my guess, is that it's just because it's missing that piece. Maybe that and piece. It's to have water. Right, that's where the water would go. So my guess is that maybe that piece broke or that piece was malfunctioning. I'm not sure. So at this point, my thought is that since some of this stuff, I mean, some of it still obviously works. The thing that I could do, I have two options. One, I can buy a replacement part and test it and see if that, you know, if it works beautifully and, and whatever, but that is an investment. So I'm not sure that that's what I want to do unless I could get the replacement part for really, really cheap. The second option is to sell it for parts, to sell it as is, online in in the condition that it is exactly how it is untested you know and if you do something like that you can totally do that on ebay you absolutely can do that with dumpster things that you find and are unable to test or don't want to invest money into testing you can definitely sell those on online on ebay whatever or on your yard sale sites you just have to disclose all of the information Hope you don't think my table's like nasty dirty. It's not. It's glitter. It's glitter nail polish. Why am I I'm feeling Valentine's. like I have to tell you that? But that was glitter nail polish we used on our dumpster Valentine's boxes. Yes. Um, anyway, <laughs> that was a really fun video. You got to check that one out. Anyway, so if you if you give the disclaimer, if you give all the details, 100% honest, I have not. You don't have to say you got it out of the dumpster, but just tell them this is untested. It is missing a part. Selling it as is, that's all there is to it, no returns. It's up to them to take a chance on it. They will get a super good deal if it does work and you will get a little bit of money out of it. So that those are our two options. And what do you guys think we should do? Should we buy the replacement part if we can get it really cheap and give it a try? Although, like I said in the live stream, I don't really want to invest in the whole K-cup system not even the cheap ones I, I really don't want to um and it's not it's not just the money it's the matter of then I would have to recycle all the little cups because of course I'm not going to just throw them away because you know how I feel about recycling and everything I don't I don't want to start a whole new system I already have two coffee makers and they just use the regular powder stuff that I got at the family dollar dumpster so I really don't want to invest in a whole new system. So that would be a reason to not buy the replacement part. But 
then again, I could get the replacement part and that is the only way to test it is to get the replacement part. And if I did get it and it did show that it worked just fine, then of course I could sell it as a like a refurbished or whatever item. So, oh, the choices, the choices I must make. I don't know. <sighs> what would you guys do? Would you buy the replacement part? Sorry, it is like way hot in here. I am like roasting. The weather here, we just never know. And that's Utah for you. Um, it's really hot here in the kitchen. Um, it was like toasty and warm yesterday, sunny and bright. And today, like raining and getting ready to snow. And so we turned the heater back on and now I'm like bright red. Anyway. Oh, thank you, Lulu. She turned the heater off. Um, of course, tonight it'll get freezing again and we'll have to turn it back on. That's Utah. It's delightful. So if you were me, would you get the replacement part so that you can test it out? Not necessarily to keep it, but then, you know, to be able to sell it because you, you'll get more money if you have it tested and can say, yes, it works, right? Or would you just sell it as is for parts or whatever, untested and getting significantly less money? But it's, it's still profit, right? It's still cash money in your pocket. You got it out of the dumpster, right? So what would you guys do? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for all of your continued support and for all of your fabulousness and your awesomeness and for the changes that you are making in your lives and the way that you are influencing people to be more intentional, more aware when it comes to what you're buying and selling and throwing away and all that, all that. I appreciate you so much. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.